everybody, uh, Trapper Forever here. Uh, just in the yard today, uh, got a little bit of a uh, skiff of snow this morning, it's all melted already, so um, just uh, going to put some Martin boxes together, so I just wanted to give everybody a, a look, see how I do it, and uh, whatever I, uh, first of all, I, uh, like I said in one of my earlier videos, I use 1x8, uh, good lumber, I don't like playing around with uh, odds and ends, I just find it's just too time consuming, so. Uh, anyway, I bought uh, 10 12 foot uh, 1x8s, and uh, one uh, 12 foot should give me two boxes. So I'm uh, thinking uh, about the average cost of a box is about five bucks plus maybe a few bucks for hardware and stuff. Eh? But uh, I'll just show you here. Um, the, uh, got everything uh, pre cut. I uh, pre cut all the uh, 1x8s into 17 inch. Uh, uh, lengths. That's what I use for my size of box. I uh, got a few together here, and uh, so I basically do it in steps. Um, I'll uh, maybe just put the camera down. I uh, let's see if we can see this here. <coughs> anyway, I uh, pre-drill uh, pilot holes just for. Uh, the sake of uh, not splitting the wood or whatever, so yeah. <coughs> just find uh, using an old box just a little bit of a help to uh, get the stuff. Uh, Initial board put together uh, a little bit easier. I'm not going to take the time in the video here to uh, show you the uh, whatever putting together a box but what I will show you is uh, basically I use uh, those uh, one by eights and I offset them they're uh, you know they're not uh, to make it a square hole rather than a rectangular hole kind of thing so uh, just uh, and then what I do after uh, a box is made I've uh, got a template here uh, that I've cut out hopefully you can see it uh, it's got a, a little uh, thing for the slot, so I'll, what I'll do is I'll just, uh, you know, put it on the uh, thing. It's going to be in the center of the board, and uh, I'll cut the uh, slot out for the trap. I also got uh, pre-cut wire mesh. Uh, I had a part of a roll here, so I cut them to, uh, to specification. I guess they're ha it's half-inch mesh which I like using, and uh, then after that, I, uh, what I do when I attach the, uh, the mesh, I don't uh, staple it. I've, I've stapled it in the past and I just don't find it uh, last very good, so what I'll use is uh, just a small fencing staples and uh, put about eight and uh, try to catch the mesh as much as possible, maybe in two places if you can, whatever, so. I just find the staples uh, just withstand weather better and uh, if anything's trying to get in the box or whatever so and uh, got away from staples and uh, <coughs> so I'll uh, cut the sides out I'll uh, put the back the mesh on and uh, then for last but not least I will uh, I will put a uh, an eye bolts on the side of it and they got to put the eye bolts uh, past where the trap goes just so it doesn't interfere with uh, the trap closing or what have you and uh, all my traps are uh, equipped with quick links and uh, box swivels I'm not sure if I showed that to you earlier I, I may have or might have uh, mentioned it eh? so I just find uh, instead of playing around with wire you know we just uh, put the quick link in attach it and she's good to go so 
And uh, I used to make my slots a little bit wider, but I've uh, gone to about uh, a little bit over half an inch or so. And uh, also some of my uh, LDL 120s here, what I've uh, done, I've replaced uh, uh, when uh, some of the triggers go, I've replaced it with this uh, circular trigger. Uh, I don't know, I've, uh, I don't know, I've just put a few on, I haven't really used a lot of them, so, uh, but uh, I'm sure they should work good, and uh, I find uh, it's a little tight to get the trap in, but uh, as you've seen in my videos, maybe uh, I always attach my box vertically with the uh, trap facing down, and then I run a branch through it to hold the trap, but with a smaller, uh, the smaller slot, it fits in a little tighter, but it's still going to be uh, just as effective. So, and uh, no problem with the trap firing. So, yeah. So, like I said, I got enough uh, um, wood here to make about 20 boxes, and like I said, they'll cost me maybe about five bucks each or so. So, I'm not sure if you can see me in the video or not, but. Uh, we'll go from there. All I do is use uh, drywall screws. Uh, those pilot holes are very important just so it doesn't split the wood or whatever. So, uh, And then I just usually when I'm done I'll uh, set them out and let them weather a little bit, get some you know, some color on them and stuff. So anyway I just thought I wanted to show you that. Uh, should be able to get these uh, done pretty quick here. So we'll talk to you later. Hey there everybody, uh, just uh, wanted to add something here I forgot uh, to say, but uh, for the slots, of course I used that template I said I had made, and uh, I'll uh, drill a half inch hole, and then uh, the template will show me, I'll just use the jigsaw to uh, cut the rest of the slot. And another thing I forgot to mention is, uh, on all the boxes when I'm making them, I also use this template not only for the slot, but uh, as you can see there's a... Uh, hole here, hole there, so I'll drill that out and uh, it just uh, allows for uh, mounting to a tree with uh, nails or screws or what have you. So, And uh, when I uh, go put some new boxes out, I'll take this board out and then I'll just set so it to measure those nails and or screws and exactly how far they are, I just use the template when I go and uh, set up some new boxes. So anyway, coming along here, I uh, kind of rookie mistake, I uh, ran out of screws here, so I'll uh, it's uh, getting kind of late in the day anyway, so so I think we got 14 out of 20 made, so that's good. We'll uh, talk to everybody later. Hey everybody, uh, Trapper Forever here. Uh, well, I thought I was uh, finished with the fur, but uh, I guess maybe a week or 10 days ago, uh, friends of mine, Ted and Walter, dropped by and gave me a fox and this uh, nice pale coyote. So. Um, just taken and I found one extra beaver in the uh, freezer so I'm just taking it off and uh, spent the day today uh, making those Martin boxes as you've seen uh, earlier. I don't know if it'll be in this video or, this, or a different video but uh, gonna uh, don't have anything in the freezer so uh, that's uh, good. I uh, actually kind of itching to go maybe set a few beaver traps but uh, kind of a little cooler here so I'll have to maybe give it a little while yet so Anyway, uh, had a good day today, so like I said, made those Martin boxes, and uh, I'm going to take this beaver off and uh, use a few animals here, and uh, actually I had a wolf, I don't know if you can see it in the frame, but he was sitting in the freezer, <coughs> pardon me, in the freezer for uh, I think two years, whatever, it's uh, kind of uh, got shoulder mites, a little bit of mange on the belly, and uh, ravens had got into it, so it's... Uh, Anyway, I, I did it up and uh, I'm going to dry it out and maybe I'll uh, try tan it myself. I've uh, never really tanned anything before but uh, I think maybe we'll uh, give her a go. i uh, have to, you know, check uh, what's the best way to do it and stuff, eh? So, um, yeah, so I'm going to get this beaver off the board and uh, actually I've been, uh, I got some of my snares. I'm going to try to sort them out. Um, brought them all down here, all the... Uh, you know, used ones, new ones I use this year, so I've got them all on the table here. And so what I do is I uh, I put them all in Ziplocs. I, uh, you know, write uh, what what kind of snares are in the bags, whatever they're kind of mixed up right now. So just going to get them uh, 
uh, all organized and uh, put together for next year and uh, kind of take an inventory, see what I'm going to need. Uh, I kind of got uh, caught this year, I didn't have enough snares made up for coyotes, so uh, we'll try and uh, <coughs> make sure we have enough for next year. So, so we got that on the go and uh, yeah, we got, uh, even though trapping's done, we still, uh, you know, doing a few things and uh, getting ready for next year or for some spring stuff or whatever. So. Yeah, there's uh, that wolf you can see has got kind of uh, mites going down the back and uh, whatever, sewed them up on the on the belly side there too. So anyway, uh, we'll get this going, finish it up, and uh, we'll be done for the night. So anybody take care. Remember, life's better in the mountain, guys. <laughs>